Okay. I'm Charles Bennett, and in this short film, I would like to discuss one of the pieces from Light Waves, which is a song cycle Bob Chilcott and I collaborated on. As you perhaps know, I write the words and Bob does the marvellous music. In this particular film, I'd like to consider the piece called Sundown. And I want you to consider a variety of ways in which we might approach the text for this song. Now, perhaps one of the first things we might want to notice about it is that actually it's a conversation between two things, but we only hear from one of them. You might like to consider what the reply might be to this invocation, to the invitation that this song forms. And the voice that we hear is the voice of the ocean. So this is a, a piece which gives a voice to something that doesn't actually speak. This is called a dramatic monologue, by the way. So when I was thinking about what the ocean might say to the other, as it were, being in this song, the sun, I wanted to frame that conversation in a concept that I was already familiar with, because that helps me write it. And the concept that I was working with was really the idea of a mother calling a child home from play. So this, if you like, is the ocean calling to its child, uh, the sun, who's been playing in the sky all day and saying to the sun, come on now, it's time to come home. And of course, the sun perhaps might not want to come down, might want to stay out late. I remember when I was a child, I used to play out on summer evenings way past my bedtime. And when my mum would call me, I'd still probably have a little complaint because I wanted to stay out longer. So this idea of giving a voice to these very important elements on our planet, the, the ocean, I mean, the water is so important to life on this planet, so crucial. And we ourselves, of course, are you know, mostly water, in fact. So this idea of giving a voice to water was something that was very powerfully in my mind when I was writing. And I wanted to think of the sun then as slightly mischievous, slightly naughty, um, perhaps playful. And that was the invitation, the invocation the ocean inviting sun down. So that was the first thing that I was thinking about. The other thing that I just wanted to mention was, of course, that we're dealing here with two elements, with water and fire. And these two things are opposites, and yet their very oppositional nature, the, the very fact that they are so different, makes them belong together. So in another way, this relationship is a long established one. You could even think of this as a, a marriage between the ocean and the sun and how different they are. And yet they work together. So that was the second thing that was in my mind. Finally, perhaps coming out of that mother child relationship, I wanted to think of the tone of the piece because I like to give each piece its own individual flavour, as it were. In one of my previous films, I've been talking about how we might want to see these songs as worlds, as planets in a solar system. And I wanted this particular piece to have a, a really playful, joyous, uplifting tone. And please forgive me because I'm about to 
talk about a pun, but the pun, as it were, the joke that's at the centre of the tone here is that the tone is light hearted. So that naughtiness somehow found its way into the words of the song. So those are ways we might want to think about sundown. And to end the short film, I'm just going to read the words and perhaps say a little bit about them uh, as I go through them. Well, the first thing we ought to notice is, of course, the chorus. I'll start with the chorus. The chorus is the ocean calling to the sun. And you'll see the exclamation marks there. And those exclamation marks are really important. They set the tone. They set the exuberance, the joyous nature of that tone I wanted to get in the song. And you'll see that the ocean gives the sun a number of rather ridiculous high flown titles, names that the ocean might have for the sun. Sky swimmer, high riser, eye in the sky, sweet surpriser, bobby bedazzler, hydrogen storm, playtime's over, time to come down. In my waters, dark and deep, float your fiery globe and sleep. Bring me all the aerial news, snooze a while in cooling blues. Bedraggle golden feathers now in my briny undertow. Come on in, the water's lovely. Wash your hotness high above me. Bathe in balm, slip on silk, like Cleopatra, sink in milk. I will lick your wounds and bless, skin that craves a sweet caress. From that heaven, made of blue, plunge into my swimming pool. In the sea of night, go diving, while tomorrow's still arriving. So in conclusion then, what we see is a series of images, a series of exchanges from the ocean to the sun. We see references to things that we might know about, but we also see the way that the ocean tries to comprehend what it might be like to be the sun, but it can only do that in its own terms, sky swimmer. So water tries to understand fire, but actually to some extent fails and interprets fire in watery terms. So I hope you enjoy working on the piece and I hope you bring your own energy, the own, the sunlight that's inside of you. I hope you really bring that fire to this piece. Thank you very much.